Hi guys, how are you there? So, let's get started with some makeup. I have not thought of any particular look, but let's see how it goes. So, I've already applied some moisturizer on my face, which is this product, Biotic. Okay, this is Morning Nectar from Biotic. This is already on my skin, so it's all well hydrated now and ready to get started for the makeup. So, next I use is this Tarte's uh, Rainforest of the Sea. I really like the nice glow this product gives me on my skin. So, I apply all over my face, just how I apply the moisturizer. So if your skin is too oily, please avoid any skin oils. I have a combination skin, so I'm considering the season now. This helps my skin. You can see the glow it's given. Okay, next what we do. I really don't apply any corrector or concealer for my skin. I don't need them, I guess. So we straight away go with foundation. I am using today MAC Studio Fix. Number I use is NC42 for my skin. And my Beauty Blender. I just... With the help of the Beauty Blender, I just apply it all over my face and the way I blend this is just like that. I am not sliding it all over, I'm just dabbing. That's how I set my foundation. So by doing this, you kind of, the foundation looks like your second skin and doesn't come as a layer on your skin. See, this side is blended, yet to blend. So, foundation is almost all blended. Make sure the crack of the nose, these are the places the cracks will come out, you know, the soonest. So even if you have smile lines, Blend them nicely here and apply lesser products if you have any lines on your forehead or the smile lines or if you have some lines here around your eyes. The application, the amount of product you apply there should be far less than just your smooth areas. That is the way you can avoid cracking up a foundation on those areas. Okay, this is done and then I take Studio Fix Concealer by MAC. It's again NC42. I don't like going too white or too light on my shade on my skin. Kind of, I like to retain my skin tone. So I just apply it here, bridge of the nose, chin, my forehead. And then I just again dab 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 and blend. So it just brightens my the zone, my T zone. So I hope. This video of mine helps you for your new year party dress up in some way. That's the idea. Okay, and next just I'll just do some contouring. I'm using this Elegal Pro Concealer, this coloring called Beautiful Bronze. I like this product the way it blends it's far more better than the cream products which I had been using earlier so I like it and 
and I'll blend this also with my beauty blender. You can also use a brush. I alternate between my brush or beauty blenders. Just depending on my mood. So this is contoured. Not contoured. You can see the difference. It's like coming out. It's gone in. So I just finished the contouring. So do not forget to blend in the lines that in between your contouring and highlight. Just dab it so there's no clear demarcation between where your contouring has ended. Okay. Okay, next we have to set this foundation. I'm using this Laura Mercier loose powder and I take a comparatively smaller brush and for my setting my t-zone you can use uh, there are many translucent powders available in the market uh, Huda's powder Laura Mercier is there Krylon has a good powder I like the finish of Laura Mercier. It's very light coverage, but the staying power it sets my foundation perfectly. So as you've seen, I'm using a smaller brush and I have set my T-zone. To set rest of my face, I do not want a you know heavy layer of powder, so I use a buffing brush and I just Set it. Always remember to cover your ears. Your ears should not be shining out red or any other skin color. So foundation is done at this time. Foundation and cream contouring and cream highlighting. And setting of powder all that is done so I'll do powder uh, highlight and control later that's how I progress in makeup uh, now so we'll start with the eyes so before doing the eyes I'll take some loose powder on my beauty blender and just dab it so this helps to process for baking which highlights my under eye and also while I'm doing my eye makeup any fallout it will help to prevent. This is I've used Ben Eyes banana powder for this and it stays here till I finish my eye makeup. So for eyes first of all we use eye base. I am using this MAC paint pot, the color laying low, I use my fingertips, you can use a brush, whatever you use it has to be nicely blended, no patchwork here because it's a cream product. This will help you hold the eyeshadow. For longer hours and the right color of eyeshadow and you know, the bright nice color. okay after setting the eyes with eye base I am just going to groom my brows once I get away with the brows then I start my eye makeup So, you know, set rules whether you have to do your face first or your eyes first. It's just the habit that you get into. I've always done my makeup like I do my face, like 80% of my face is done. 
after eyes I'll again do my powder contouring my blush my highlight there is no set rule for that Okay, brows are done. Next is we start. And I think I think now I should be. So today I'll be using this palette from Juvia's palette. Uh, so I'm taking this color called Giza. I think so it's called Giza, and I'll just apply it under my brows. Any flat, stiff, short brush would do for this application. Okay, this is done. And next, I take a I have this Morphe palette, and I take a neutral shade to create my crease line. Naturally, I don't have a very good eye space to work on for eye makeup. So, a higher crease line helps me always. Okay, let's, I take this another color called Ada from Julia's palette. burgundy kind of a shade So I am filling this color on my outer E and my inner E I have left in between space. And I'll apply again till I'm happy with the application of the color, the color I need. taken again this eye base so taking the eye base and I've applied to the center of the lid uh, where I had avoided putting the other colors. Okay, my paint board just fell off the ground. I've taken this color called Zola 
in the fabric. It's nice. Turquoise blue. And I apply over it. It's a little tricky to do while recording. I'm sorry if it's a little clumsy. So here we have to make sure that the placement of this blue color should be balanced in both the eyes. Like here it's gone a little in, so I will just add here also. It's a little tricky when I'm doing on my own. I don't have a good lit space to work on. Okay, after this, I'll take another color called, it's written as, okay, there are two colors, Makeda and Chi. So, let's see. Out of these two colors, I'll take one. Or maybe, 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 I'll take this one. So I have added the shade around the blue. Can you see? Okay, and then Thing. I'll enhance that burgundy shade that I had. That goes again. I take that color called Makeda and then I take the blue shade. So one going into another, one flowing into another. song. Can you hear? Can you guys hear the song? The remix in song in Simba. Can you see? It's a challenge to work with so much colors in my eyes. It's good to challenge yourself. A point in doing something which is easily achievable. Okay, I think yes, it's done. I'll dust off because there's a lot of blue I see under my eye, it should not set there. nude liner see it instantly makes my eye open up my eye makes my eye look bigger that's how we do it I 
I just thought of doing this video. It's year end. This is the year I started all my videos and I always wanted to do something online. Uh, so, and I just thought there's no point sitting and thinking about it. So let's just do it. So when the year is ending, one video panta hai. Okay, I'll take now this brown color. It's called, called this. Fulani from that Juvia's palette and I just under my lash line under my lower lash line I don't use much of kajal makes my eyes look more small I just like defining my eyes with some eyeshadows black brown whatever look I am creating it also makes my look it looks make you look softer okay now I'll take a little more deeper brown this color I'm picking up from Morphe palette I don't know the name and then I take a pencil brush and just smoke it out It's your choice. You want to smoke out or you want your under eye to be very defined and come out. Makeup has no rules. It's whatever you carry. And carry with confidence. Yeah. Okay. And then next, what we do? We take this color, what I took under my brow, I am taking the same color and I am just adding to my tear duct. Okay, next is we take a liner. I hope you guys are able to see it. It's a little tricky to shoot and to line your eyes. Okay, that's done. I want to add some of this blue shade on my lower lash lid. Just this much. Okay, can you make out? It's just in the center. I 
I'm dragging this girl a little bit to my inner corner. Eyes are done. The lash curler. I curl the lashes. And I apply mascara. Generously applied. There's so many varieties of mascara available in market. There are one which come with fibers, one just for curling your lash, one to make it look natural. Use one which you like, the kind of effect you want to get. Want to go dramatic? Take one which gives more volume. I can't see the blue color that I given on my lower lash in the camera. I hope you guys can see, it's looking very nice. Like in this mirror I can make out but not on this phone camera. Okay, we are done, we are done with eyes. And all that stuff. Just contour, powder contour. Can I make all the difference again? Makeup does wonders. She's blending into my hairline. Yeah, can you see this side and this side? When I put my face straight, you can make it out. Okay, then I can use the blush. I will use the Tarte Big Blush Book and a shade called Quirky. It's a pale pink shade. I still haven't thought of what lip color will I wear. Whether I'll go nude lip shade or a deep plum. Both I can carry. Just depends. Let's see, that's what happens when I do my own makeup. I'm so undecisive till I reach the point. So I surprise myself every time. Okay, now blush is done. Okay, then I'll use some shine, a soft one. I too much of shine when I have too much color on my face. Just 
just on a hand. That's good. Next is we go for lip color. I'll just outline my lip. I think so. The brown would look nice. Okay, I'm not in the mood to do my hair today. Just makeup looks good. So, this is what it is today. It's a very pop of color kind of a look. So, if you're going for night parties and all, uh, and you don't want to use the regular gold or metallic shades, you can take a pop of color or something like this, just in the center of the lids, as how I've done. And you're ready for a party. Thank you. Happy New Year to all of you in advance. Uh, this year was good for me. Uh, keep following my page. Show some love. And I'll be back with more such videos. And any demands, any, any special looks that you want to see, please do let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.